I'm uh, Greg Nelson. I'm a human at Southgate. Well, I'm a um, retired, semi-retired social studies teacher, history and geography. So faith was a big part of your life growing up, family life? Well, they or? didn't lab- nobody labeled it as faith. They said, oh, you're doing faith. You're not doing faith. But um, through action, my parents and grandparents and so on have always been active in the community and they've expressed their faith in, in different ways through helping other people mostly, trying to be good citizens and so on. My faith has helped me to focus my life in certain directions, one in the direction of scouting and the other in in maybe environmental awareness. Having had farmers in the family, we know the impact of weather and climate and so on 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 crops and how that influences people's decisions to stay on the land or move into town or something like that. So I became interested in stopping the KSL KXL pipeline after um, talking to people who were interested in, in doing that and met a lot of wonderful people, uh, particularly some wonderful Native Americans. And one of the challenges I had is, as a um, pipeline fighter was to deal with people who had different viewpoints than mine. So we, um, may, maybe the Nebraska delegation went up to Congress to talk to the five people from Congress and try to convince them to stop the pipeline, um, protect our land and our soil and our water, and they wouldn't talk to any of us. And that was very disappointing. So that's when we got more involved in in rallies and letter writing and writing of books and writing of poetry and baking of of, uh, bread and and pies and so on. And so I think through our faith, especially the Native Americans, in demonstrating their undying love of the land, that's what encouraged, I think, a lot of us to continue with the fight. Describe a time when God felt, you felt God n- nudging you out of your comfort zone. Is that, was that a lot of that that's case? That's part of it. To, to be out of my comfort zone is to, is to take a stand, a political stand or a environmental or or emotional stand against people you think are not on the right page as far as the environment is concerned, trying to protect the land. And that's what really um, encouraged a lot of us to to use our faith more actively and try to do what is best for not only ourselves, but seven generations down the road, which is the Native American expression. The, the big project I'm working on is trying to help, help young people get through scouting and become productive citizens. I teach the citizenship classes, and that's been fun to see how they uh, pick up on that. And also to involve myself in environmental awareness and try to make people aware that um, we only have one planet. We don't have a planet B. And so we need to work together to try to protect the planet for ourselves and for future generations. And those are the two things that keep me busy these days. I've learned so much from involved with the Native Americans and people of other religions. So part of the why is why not? Why not get involved and why not try to learn from your neighbors and people? You can learn from people you don't like. You can learn a lot from them and find out why they're different, why they're um, so adamant in their viewpoint. And so we can learn from people we don't know or don't like, and maybe we can reach some kind of common ground in between. Mm -hmm. At least I hope so.